Today I'm gonna show you all the failure points that can happen on your B58. We have a brand new aluminum oil filter housing. These are known for going out on the B58s, especially the Gen 1s, from what I've heard. Not a BMW tech. Somebody just told me to order this, and that's what I did. Stock coolant overflow tank. Replacing it with an all aluminum one. This one shouldn't blow up on me, hopefully. Then we have the connector that goes to the radiator from the overflow tank with aluminum connectors and let's pray that doesn't give out. As you can see down here, I had a pretty bad leak. I didn't know if it was the radiator, this aluminum fitting, my upper radiator hose, which we decided to just replace all the connectors, including this flange right here that goes all the way down here. Here we got the old fan. We're still gonna use this one. This one hasn't gone bad or anything, but I'll probably just clean it up with some alcohol, rub it down, get all that looking nice. Other than that, we have the full LCI kit coming in. Should be getting painted right now. I actually have to drop off the filter cap so they can get the color code. Gotta get the LCI headlights, grill, carbon hood, fenders, Puri 50, nitrous, everything. I did have to take the DME out. Almost myself taking this shit off, but it's the game. Then we have the front mount intake, Alibaba. Can never go wrong. It's probably the same, I'm not even gonna say it. This is the big old filter that goes up front. So this gas cap is kind of dirty right now. I have to go drop it off at the body shop, have them paint it, color match it, and should have the full LCI kit, hopefully within a week or two. We did put the LCI tails on. These uh, look way better than the stock ones. I'm gonna leave my like, These are OEM. These are good, but they just don't compare to the LCI ones. This should be the all new aluminum radiator. This comes, this comes fully welded together. Don't have to worry about it exploding or anything anytime soon. But you know, I got like 5,000 horsepower, so I'll probably get off now. Should do the job. Currently, we're going to the shop down the block. See if we use a grinder. We need to cut off a uh, bit of the excess material right here on the original mount for the aluminum radiator. See if we can get it to properly fit on, because currently it's not fitting. Hey, boy, Halloween. Oh my God. Okay. And now it's still not fitting. I'm gonna have to trim just a little bit more off this corner right here to get it to fully sit in. And once we get that in, should be able to be mounted and secured. This is like the third tape. <laughs> We're back at the shop. It didn't fit, so now we gotta cut some more. I'm trying to get it to line up with the factory bracket. That's one side, other side, and there you go. Now you got to take all of your connectors. Make sure you use a pick tool. Take off the clip, snap it in. have to do that a thousand more times. All right, so we gotta get this coolant hose on this side, down to this hole. There's not enough space. So we gotta wiggle this around, get this dropped in, pick it up, angle it, there you go. So now you have the connector on this side. You wanna mount this onto the bracket right here. There you go, secure it down. Well, first, you want to secure once you got everything positioned. There you go. Alright, once that's secured, we now have the line over here to connect to this right here. Drop this in. 
carefully. Get it in the easiest way. Gotta finagle it around. Okay, I lied. I wanna make sure that it doesn't hit this hose because it's not gonna block it. Alright, next up, you have to get this connected to right here. Once you have it connected in, you have to finesse it in. You have to lift the radiator up to time and get this uh, cooling line to fit in between the radiator and the frame. So just you have somebody to help you. Cameraman, pull this up right here. So what you do is you snap it in on this side. Ah, stop. Oh, my You're gonna stab me. You told me to push. All right, now it's in. <laughs> Jesus, the bracket is mad sharp. All right, so that connector right there, that connector down there, we had to push it in, took some force, and it's not the easiest, but now we gotta move the radiator around to get the holes to slide in through. So, hold this right here. Take 365. You gotta take this fully apart to slide this in. I try to do it the lazy way, keeping it connected to this. Turns out you can't. So take this apart, slide this into the bottom, get it connected, snap the pin in place. And that's it. I'm tired. All right, so gonna slide it in, go down here, turn it around and it should just fall right into place. Now you just gotta get your hand in there to be actually able to push it in, snap it in, and lock it. That's the hard part. So I'm gonna try to reach through it here, but I have this annoying cover in the way. Also helps if you like wiggle it in. And, all right, it's almost there. Let's do a little bit more. What I'm doing is basically put the towel to get as much as possible. Oh, it's in. A win is a win. All right, so there's the connector towards it. You want to get that connected into the back. You want to get this hose from the other side that we just struggled from locked in. Also, you want to take this piping and get it locked in. I'm gonna unclip. Connector. Boom. Snapped in, locked in. Next is this main one right here. Close it right there, isn't going anywhere. All right. Then we also take this one, unlock it, snap it in. Oops. Take your time. Now with the oil filter housing, we're gonna drop it in, get this installed, connect the fan, the manifold, and everything else that's missing. Now we're gonna take our brand new BMW bolts. Gonna take this hose, drop it down through here. 
into the middle like this. All right, I'm gonna take the gasket maker, squeeze it all around, nice and generous. And you only gotta do this if you get the one without uh, the gasket. Down here, take the three bolts inside the hole. That'll help you line it up. Actually gonna connect the sensor right here. Boom. Make sure that snapped in place. Then you're gonna wanna get this and the clips that hold it in. These just snap into place. So what you're gonna do is you'll take this piece, get it connected in. Make sure the sensor for this gets connected as well. Right into here, these two circle holes. Now you just want to have a look around, make sure none of you have anything loose, nothing else was connected here except for this main pipe. And you're gonna lock this in right here with this round. Put it in, take a flathead. Boom. Next is this connector. Get it on. You have to squeeze this. Come over here. Snap this in. Lock that into place. That's not going anywhere. Make sure this band right here is tight. Boom. Then you have one more main hose to install. So I'm gonna run this way, lift up the pin, lock that one in, and you should be good, twin. I'm gonna slide the fan on, drop a little bit with all the hoses that we already installed. This is short and struggled right in. Now with a little bit of persuading, hammering, it went in. Should be able to slide this in. Right. About this goes above. Right there. Boom. Just slide this clip in. Then you just start connecting everything where it goes. Let me watch a YouTube video to remember where it goes. So we slid the DME in. This should solve most of where they go. Make this process a bit easier. Boom. Here, still haven't secured it, but most part. All right, once you have, once you have the DME fully reconnected, they can only go into their ports. So that's how you kind of find it out. Make sure this is reconnected right here. Uh, you have the flange connected, oil filter housing. Make sure the sensor down in here, shine the light in here. Make sure that's reconnected properly. Uh, make sure all these are snapped in place. All right, now we're gonna install the intake manifold. Throw it on, reconnect all the EVAP lines, whatever they're called, and yeah. All right, now, took the, D, uh, the DME out once again to get the manifold on. You gotta slide your hand here to get one of the pooling lines connected to the intake manifold. Um, so, I'm gonna slide this right back in. Should just slide right in right here. Now, all these connectors only go to one place. All right, now make sure for this tank, you have this line reconnected to your manifold. You're going to take this line right here, which goes connected to right here. Just gonna squeeze that in. Just lock this into place right here. Get it in there, all right, now. This goes over these wires. This is supposed to go in through here. Electrical tape came off. Give me a second. Stop. So now we take this, put this in here, snap that on. Don't forget underneath you have these 
two mountain screws to hold down the intake manifold. They're gonna be these. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. I'm about to turn the car on. Pull this filled up to the top. Make sure this is closed. Cross your fingers. Hope it blows up. Oh, 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 oh. Gang, it's smoking one. All right. Well, watch out for my signal to turn it off. Press the brake. And turn it off. No leaks from your, what is it, TikTok mechanic? All right, so the car's fully put back together. Didn't blow up, almost did. One of the pipes almost got caught and one of the belts, that scared the out of me. I thought I blew my motor. Who knows, till tomorrow. I don't know, we're gonna drive the car around, we're gonna get some um, intake noise clips. We're gonna make sure that nothing's leaking. I'm looking at the car now, but we're gonna clean everything up, get the car to driving temps, and take it around the block.